Hey guys, I am sitting on my balcony and to be honest, I'm only wearing my shirt and a thong, so hopefully none of my neighbors come out. I wanted to talk to you guys today about having more kids because I know that the last time I updated you guys, I said that we weren't planning on having any more kids. I just want to talk a little bit about that. A lot of people asked a lot of questions. Actually, people have basically been asking me questions about whether or not we were going to have more kids since I was pregnant with Joe. And I've ignored a lot of those questions and I just I haven't really addressed it and I'll tell you why as you guys know after I had James it was a really traumatic c-section and the doctor told me that she probably wouldn't recommend that I would get pregnant again a third time if I had a second c-section so basically that was it if I if I had a c-section one more time or if I do at any point I can't have any more kids after that and so when I was pregnant with Joe, as you guys know, I went through seven or eight different healthcare providers before I finally found someone that would let me even attempt to have a vaginal birth. And so up until I did find someone who was willing to let me attempt it at almost 38 weeks, I was, I was going to have a C-section. That's just the way it was going to be because I couldn't find someone to allow me to do anything else. And I was not in a position where I was comfortable with, you know, giving birth on my own at home or anything like that, which was what a couple of people suggested. So, I was pretty certain throughout most of my pregnancy with Joe, actually pretty much until the moment that I actually had a vaginal birth, I was, I was pretty certain that I was going to end up with a C-section. And as you guys know, if I had a C-section, I wouldn't be able to have any more kids. And so, it was really, really hard for me to even consider the pros and cons of having a third child or anything like that when I was pretty sure that I wasn't going to be allowed to, you know, and I didn't want to psych myself up for something that I was not allowed to do. Now, when I was pregnant with James, I made you guys a video saying that I wanted to have like four to six kids, like a big family, and Alex was not really on the same page as me, but he said kind of like that he'd do whatever I wanted. And then after I had James, I remember when I came home from the hospital, I don't remember who it was, someone was visiting me, and I, I remember I was in my room and I was picking something up off the stool in the corner, and they said to me, so when are you going to start with number two? And I honestly said, I don't think I can do that again. And I was being honest. My birth experience with James was just so awful. I didn't think I could go through it again. I did end up getting pregnant with Joe um, nine months later, but that's because I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, James to be a single child. But I wasn't psyched for the birth or anything like that because I was pretty sure it was not going to go how I wanted it to go. So when I was pregnant with Joe, I didn't even consider the idea that I could possibly have had a third child. I just decided to accept having two and that is what it is. And a lot of people ask me questions on YouTube about whether or not it was going to be my last child and stuff like that. And I think some of the questions I answered in the comments, but I just wasn't ready to come out and make a video about why or why not we wouldn't want to have another child if I, if I honestly felt that you know it was 99% certain that we weren't going to be able to. So I never made you guys that video. And then we had Joe. And something that I don't know if I ever told you guys after I had Joe was that we were so we were so happy about Joe's birth and things were going so smoothly in our lives and we were so psyched about everything that I was perfectly fine with getting pregnant again like whenever I could. And so for a long long time we just we didn't try but we didn't prevent. We just accepted that if we were going to get pregnant again soon then we were going to and that's all there was to it and we didn't prevent anything and probably around Christmas or January Alex and I started to think about the difference between our lives now and our lives before we had kids and before we had kids we were really really active we loved to you know we went rock climbing a couple times a week we loved going and hiking places and like we did a lot of stuff like if you guys remember we even like went on a huge road trip together and like scaled a cliffside and everything and we put that on YouTube but you know we were a really active couple and we were really different people before we had kids and we are not a couple that leaves our kids with other people I can count on one hand the amount of times that James and Joe have been left with people and you know it's usually just because it's something that we, we really have to do or for instance you know, one time it was because I planned a birthday party for Alex and so I ended up keeping Joe because I was nursing him and James went with his Nana and Grandpa, but um, there's very, very few times when we actually leave our kids without us and, you know, we don't want to leave our kids. Every once in a while it's okay, but uh, we're not the kind of people that want to make plans to, you know, once a week go out and leave our kids behind or anything like that, so 
So our lives are really, really different than they were before we had kids. And I think that we both really missed it. But yeah, the point is, is that we noticed that Joe had started to stand up and pull himself around and he really became this person in our heads. And suddenly, instead of having like a little boy and a baby, um, we saw them turning into two little boys and they started playing with each other and things like that. And I think we both got this idea in our head that if we stop having kids right now, you know, in six months, Joe will be walking and we'll be able to go places where we can all walk. And in a year, we'll be able to all go rock climbing together and take Joe rock climbing too. And in two years, we'll be able to go on vacation and we won't have to bring a stroller with us. And we saw this, you know, we saw this life unfolding before us that was a lot less limited because we wouldn't have newborns or anything like that. We really felt that it would be easier to go forward and take back a lot of what we had before but with our kids. So we decided that that was it. We weren't gonna have any more kids. Life went on. And then, maybe like two or three months ago, I made a new friend, and she has become really, really a close friend of mine, and I really love her, but we hang out with her really often, and she has three kids. And so when we hang out with her, usually she and I end up talking, and then Alex ends up like playing with all five kids. And one time, a couple of weeks ago, we got home from her house, and Alex is like, wow, it's really awesome having so many kids together. And I was like, why? And he goes, well, because I, you know, I thought that if you had an uneven amount of kids or if you had like more than two kids, there would be ganging up and things like that. But I found that there was a lot more like kids always having something to do, always being able to move around and talk to a new person and there's no boredom. And I was like, you know, I remember when I was growing up, I had like 20 younger cousins and every week my mom's family would get together and there would always be at least six kids there and it was so so much fun even though we were all different ages it was just it was nice being in a noisy house filled with kids and always you know having something to do and someone was somewhere and we were never alone and it was never quiet and for some people I guess that it sounds like a nightmare but I always wanted to have a family like that and you know, so Alex is like, maybe we should rethink about um, having more kids and stuff like that. So it's in the back of our heads, but it's not anything we can really act on right away because my cycles have not returned since I had Joe or anything like that. So um, then yesterday we were at a party. At the party there was a couple of Alex's friends and Alex just has him and his sister, just like me, I was just me and my brother but his friends, like his two best friends, both had big families with lots of siblings. So we were at this party last night and some of his friends were there and their parents were there and on the way home Alex said, I remember why I liked going to my friends houses so much when I was a kid. And I said, why? And he said, because there was always a lot of kids there and my house was so quiet and it was just either like do something with your sister or do something with a parent and going over to their house there was always so much going on and I really enjoyed that. And I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's why I wanted to have a big family because I, I grew up where every week we'd get together with my cousins and, and it was awesome just having a lot of people in the house. He's like, I'm beginning to think that our, our decision not to have any more kids is kind of selfish and it's based so much on us getting our lives back on track and we haven't really considered that like we can make our kids' lives that much more fulfilling or that much more fun or give them the kind of life that we both really wanted as kids but we didn't have. and. So, <laughs> it's up in the air now. Um, the truth is, is that I don't want to stress about it and I don't want to turn myself into what I was last time after I had James, where for six months I was like, oh my God, when am I gonna ovulate? What's going on? So I'm not really, I'm still not gonna try. I still have not ovulated once to my knowledge since I had Joe. And so there's really no point in trying anyways or worrying about anything. And, Everything's kind of happening as it's meant to happen and whatever will be will be. Yeah, the truth is, is that we're probably, probably not done having kids. I'm still in mommy mode. Um, Joe breastfeeds a lot more than James did. You know, when I got pregnant with James, sorry, when I got pregnant with Joe, James was nine months old, but he, he breastfed to go to sleep or to have a nap and that's pretty much it. Joe is like a breastfed baby. I mean, he breastfeeds when he's uncomfortable, when he's tired, when there's too many people in the room, um, pretty much any time. Like if I'm naked, he wants to breastfeed just because. Because I get out of the shower and he's like, look, there are boobs. I want one. And 
So I think that that has something to do with the fact that my cycles haven't returned to normal just because like I guess there must be more prolactin in my body. I could be totally wrong about that though. So yeah, I don't know, but I just thought I'd update you guys about kind of where we were at in our heads and if you have any questions feel free to ask but that is that and I am going to stop recording now because it is so hot outside and the kids are sleeping inside and I am just like sweating from every little tiny pore in my body. Um, I will talk to you guys soon and yeah, if you have any questions post them below.